Are you ready for a deep dive into SPF? Because that is what we're doing today. I'm getting deep into it. Actually, not that deep. I do feel like this is one of those like sort of untouchable subjects because as soon as you say one thing, something else will change. There are so many options for SPF on the market. So many, always new ones coming up. We all know it's important. It is necessary if you are in the sun, whether it's winter, summer, you name it, SPF is really important to protect your skin. So I'm talking about my favorites today. Um, I'll explain the days that I don't wear SPF, what do I do? And then the days that I know I'm for sure gonna be outside, I'm like skipping makeup all together, what I put on my skin. So let me start by saying, for my job, I'm on camera a lot, whether it's my iPhone or this big camera that I'm looking at right now, and I have yet to find a good SPF that is good on my skin that doesn't give me a white cast and that doesn't look good in photos. So my daily moisturizer is almost always lacking SPF. I'm right now using a Peter Thomas Roth Hyaluronic Acid Moisturizer and then a, um, I have it right here, a Biosans Phyto Retinol Serum as a moisturizer too and neither of those have SPF in it. My makeup does contain SPF, but if you watched my esthetician series, you would know that the makeup, the SPF in makeup is often not sufficient. Uh, if you're gonna be out in the sun. Don't count on your makeup's SPF number to be like a solid number is kind of what I've heard. So I realize that the makeup uh, SPF that I have is doing something, but probably not to the max degree that it would if I was using just a straight up like SPF 50. You know what I'm saying? So I will do my makeup. If I'm gonna be on camera, I will skip SPF altogether. And then if I know I'm gonna be outside or going outside, um, I will do like a SPF spray or a setting powder that has SPF in it. I realize that this still is not as good as wiping off all my makeup and putting on a cream SPF, but I'm just telling you what I do. If I didn't, if I wasn't on camera all the time, I would like try and find something that I could put on my skin, but I just haven't found it yet. And these options honestly do a really great job protecting my skin from the sun. So I'll just leave it there. So if I'm gonna go outside after being um, inside all day, I would pick one of these two. This is the uh, Super Goop, this is by Millie, um, the design, but this is Super Goop Setting Mist. It's a broad spectrum sunscreen mist, SPF 50. You spray it over your makeup and it really works. It does a great job. Um, I love the Super Goop line. I've used this before. Make sure your eyes are closed. It does smell and feel like sunblock. Um, so if you're oily, you might find this to make your skin a little shiny if you spray it on after makeup, but it really, really works. Another option, you, you may notice this isn't open. I haven't, I'm trying to use up the stuff I have before I open the new stuff. Um, this is a Pixie Skin Mist. I love Pixie Mists. This is called Sun Mist. It has a broad spectrum SPF of 30. Same kind of concept of the Super Goop one, which I still have a little bit in there. Um, so I'm gonna use this up before I try this one. Uh, same concept, you spray it over your makeup. You could just spray these directly on your skin. They, they aren't made like to work in conjunction with makeup. It's just a mist. So you can spray it over your makeup. So if I am looking like this, which no SPF on my skin, and I'm gonna go out the rest of the day, one of these, this one first, is gonna go on top of everything that's on my skin already. Before I jump into creams that you put on your body or your face, um, I also wanna talk about these. These are great options if you don't like a setting mist or if your face is really oily, you know you're gonna be sweating. These are SPF powders. Um, this is by Super Goop. It's an SPF 45 Invincible Setting Powder. It's 100% mineral and sweat, sweat resistant. Um, this is Peter Thomas Roth. I've had this for a really long time. Um, also SPF 45. It's translucent. You brush it on. These are great just to throw in your beach bag or your purse. This one, Super Goop as well. Um, you pull it down. Oh, you may have seen some of that powder dust off, but it just dusts. Can you see it there? Um, it just dusts on top of your makeup. So it adds a layer of SPF 45. Whoa, that's cloudy. Um, so these are also good options if you need to add SPF on top of makeup should you have not put it on in the morning or forgotten or you just need to reapply and you don't wanna put lotion, sunscreen all over your face. So the last three products I'm gonna talk about are my body sunscreen. This is Clinique's Broad Spectrum SPF 30. I love the way this feels on my body. I use this on my legs especially. Um, 
but you could use it everywhere. It just, it works great. SPF 30, you could go higher there, of course, but for me, this usually gets the job done and I reapply, reapply pretty regularly. Um, the other body sunscreen that I love, I probably like this one a little better than the Clinique one, um, is this sunscreen mousse, also super goop. Ashley Brooke turned me on to this. Um, this is SPF 50. It's water resistant for 80 minutes. It is a foam and it goes on really nicely and it does a fantastic job. Um, so this applies maybe a little easier and quicker than rubbing a cream into your body. SPF sometimes can be difficult to rub in. It's good. It should be thick um, for it to work. So this is also effective but a lighter foam product so it's a little faster to rub it into your skin. Works great. I love this for body. Um, yeah, I have a few of these, but uh, this is this is a great one. And then the SPF I've been using for my face is by Biosense. I love this brand. I'm sort of new to this brand this year, but I have loved their products. This is the Squalane Plus Mineral SPF 45 sunscreen. This does give you a slight white cast to your skin, um, so just be aware of that. But it works really well. I wore it at the lake the other day and um, didn't reapply the whole day and I didn't get a bit of sun on my face. I was inside for a little bit in the middle of the day, but still. Um, it feels really good on your skin. It didn't feel like it was clogging my pores like some face sunscreen creams can feel. Um, there is one called Unseen Sunscreen, I think by Supergoop, um, which is a clear product, which is great for your skin. It felt a touch heavy, um, so that was why I was trying something else, and I really like the way this feels on my skin. You get the white cast, but that's kind of just what happens with SPF. So I feel like if you could get this feel with a clear product, it would be holy grail SPF, but I'm working with what I got here. So those are just some sunscreens I've been loving. Um, again, not something that I use every day on your makeup if I'm going to be on camera, but you've got a lot of options for putting it on, putting the protection on after the fact. So realistically, that is something that I do. I know it is best to put it on your skin. Um, so if you can find something that doesn't give you a white cast or if that's not um, a problem you deal with, it's best to put it on first for just that first layer of protection. So I'll include links to all of these products below this video at the blog post. You can just click that link and go visit there. Hey, I mentioned that esthetician series and you can click right here. Um, to go watch those videos.